Gives you the chills. Turning to uh, more local issues, it looks like the Islanders could use a miracle on ice, and here's Mike Zimmett. Definitely. One quick thing I want to mention, Kenny Morrow, as you know, used to play for the Islanders, was a member of that Olympic team. I went to his house to do a story. He took out the gold medal and showed it to me. You know where he kept it? With the dishes in his closet. <laughs> it was that important to him. But yes, the Islanders are now winless in their last five games. At the Coliseum this afternoon, the Islanders fought back from a 3-0 deficit. They tied the Red Wings at 3. Now, <laughs> Pat LaFontaine, who suffered a swollen hand in Pittsburgh on Thursday, did not play. He is out indefinitely. Now, first period, 1-0 Detroit. Steve Eiserman threw the screen, his 50th goal of the year. It made it 2-0. Second period, the Islanders, though, did come back. Trottier to David Volek. He winds, he fires it, cut it to 3-1. to The comeback continued. Doug Crossman cutting across. He shoots, the puck is loose. Brent Sutter follows, and it is suddenly 3-2. to Now, 13 minutes into the third period, off the faceoff, Gary Nyland on the hesitation scores his first of the season, tied it at three, and check it out, in overtime, Glenn Healy came up with several key saves, including this Kennedy winds and fires, and look, beautiful save made by Healy, the Islanders tie the Red Wings at three. And at the Meadowlands,